you kept saying restraining order. And every time you said it, I giggled only because what a paper tiger. I mean, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm not allowed to come within 500 feet of my spouse, but I could shoot them from 501. It requires the person who has it against them to one, respect the law and to not want to hurt the other person or want to hurt the other person less than they want to go to jail. There's some situations where it doesn't matter. It is just a piece of paper. There's other situations where I think it does help prevent things. I have a whole story. I thought I would be doing much more work with people who have experienced domestic abuse. But what I've found is that it is utilized so often as a weapon within a divorce or custody. It absolutely disgusts me because it takes away from people who truly need the safety and the precaution. The police oftentimes just look at it. You say, I have a restraining. They're like, so does everybody else. It's not anything that's taken seriously. And I've heard a judge say, well, just because she now says that she doesn't need it doesn't mean something didn't happen. It's known that if you have a restraining order and you walk into divorce court, there's a little red flag that says, hey, I'm kind of an asshole. And the judges are a little bit more cautious to do a 50-50. Again, it's very frequently used to get the other person out of the house. The legal system just sucks. so much that needs to be revamped in it.